instrument. <laughs> <laughs> so how does it feel to have, you know, be the new face, kind of, of um, 24? It's literally... I mean, it's it's a it's a blessing. I mean, I, I really don't know. I'm I'm kind of watching it all happen like right. in front of me too. So I'm just kind of trying to keep up. <laughs> right, right. But um, but it's 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 just an it's an honor because it's a franchise that I love and it's a franchise that I I just I grew up with. Mm -hmm. Um, and there's a whole generation of people who didn't grow up with 24 and right. who will be rediscovering 24. So it's uh it's great to bring that to them. So I understand you're going to be a more optimistic fellow than what we're used to on 24, hmm. at least on the outset, and hmm. that, that that might change. Think, What's that going to be like for us? I think. What's it like for you? For it's a good question. I think uh, in terms of the optimism, I think things begin in a different place than they began for Kiefer Scott mm -hmm. and for Jack Bauer because I think. <clears throat> You're watching this this young man who ascended the ranks pretty quickly. It's a skilled soldier come home and return to civilian life, and things might be good. Things might be actually really great, and he might be in a really great situation. And and life is good, you know. He has a wife, a beautiful wife, and and, and a family unit, and and it's uh, so. In terms of the optimism, you know, he's. He, I think a lot of his demons are going to sort of come up to haunt him because he's not, he, you know, he, he grew up in the hood, but he had to, he left that and went to the army, you know what I mean? So I think a lot of that might come back to haunt him. Um, but Eric is an optimist and he's a, a, a fixer, you know what I mean? And, and he likes to make sure things are okay, you know? Um, but I think he might miss a little bit of what he had overseas. And and we'll see how that plays out. Mm -hmm. What can you tell us a bit about the tone of the show? Because 24 used to be a very brutal and sometimes controversial show. Mm -hmm. So what about this new take on it? It's going to be brutal and it's going to be controversial. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it because it is 24, you know, I mean, it is literally... Bringing, I mean, we have the original team back. I mean, all the all, this is just an expansion of the universe. So, you know, the things that people loved about 24 was that they, I mean, it changed the face of television because of the real time of it all. Because you're literally, I mean, we were just, it's just, it's kind of invigorating now. Like, we just screened it for everyone to watch in the hall. And, like, when we got to the commercial breaks, I mean, people were literally like, no, like talking back at the screen and like, <laughs> wait, did you just did you shoot him again? You know, like, I mean, like, you know, and, and you get all of those things. And it, it is controversial. But that's why we do this. You know, we're not here to make a peachy television show that everyone is going to be okay with. That's not why I decided on to do it. You know what I mean? We're talking about the issue. We're talking about PTSD. We're talking about drugs. We're talking about uh, love and, 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 and life and li your liberties and your, your surveillance. And we're talking about all of those things without it being a, a didactic sort of thing, but still having the original 24 feel, you know? Um, and that's why, I, I, and I read the script. Stephen Hopkins, who directed the original pilot, directed our pilot. John Cassar, the man, the myth, the legend, is back. Um, and he's directing us right now. And uh, it's just a joy, you know? Howard, Evan, Manny, I mean, they're writing these scripts that every time we get them, we're just like, what the? Oh my God, like, nothing can be better. It's like, how do you continue to, and, and that's the challenge too, is to make it real and to keep it honest and to keep it grounded. And that's the fun, you know, so. Did you have any chance to chat with Kiefer before the shooting? No, no. I was shooting King Kong, Skull Island in <laughs> Vietnam, and I got off a plane and went straight into the read, literally into the read through, so I didn't get a chance to um, before. But uh, but he's since obviously like put his stamp of approval on the show, and um, and I also just wanted to to let Eric breathe on his own and, and give him his own sort of life and see um, what happens with that. There's a lot of things that me and Keeper are going to talk about in terms of how he got through these days. <laughs> I mean, how he got through these working days because it is a grueling schedule. And it's a challenge, but again, we have such a great support system that Fox is just so, you know, just generous in terms of the, the slot they gave us and, and, and their support behind the show. So, um, so everybody is just on board, man, and it feels good.
Are you relieved that you're only doing 12 episodes? <laughs> I don't know. Right now, I'm like, yeah, I mean, it's, it'll be good to have a little bit of a break. But uh, uh, but I think what it does, what that 12 episodes does is it, it gives you less filler. Yeah. So literally, it's a relief. But at the same time, every single episode, you don't have a moment to breathe as an audience member. I don't have a moment to breathe just reading through what they what they <laughs> they've written. So like, I mean, it's it's that kind of thing, and and, uh, and I, I, it's just like it, they surprise you. It's like you don't know if it can be done, and then they just keep surprising you, surprising you. But it's great that it's twelve because it's a tight twelve, you know. Um, but it still has everything that twenty. It's still going to be twenty four hours. How we do that will be, you know, 